Hello, I'm Mr. Having. I'm one of the maths teachers here at Harris Garrett Academy. Each and every single one of our maths teachers is absolutely fantastic and we're all looking forward to seeing you in September. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what is probably my favourite topic in maths. It's probability. Probability for me is amazing because you never really know what's going to happen. We can calculate things, we can work out what's most likely to happen and what's least likely to happen, but at the end of the day, it's all up to chance. In probability, our language is really, really important. We talk about things being either impossible, certain, or something in between. We use words like likely, unlikely, rare, common, probable, possible. All these words are connected to probability and it makes things super confusing. So we as mathematicians, we turn everything into numbers. We say that if something's impossible, then that's got a probability of zero. A zero probability will never, never, ever happen in the world. On the other hand, if something is certain to happen, that's got a probability of 1. It absolutely 100% will happen. In between, we've got all of our decimals and our fractions to help us describe what's happening. To help you think about this, I'm going to use my favourite teaching tool. This is my fantastic giant spinning wheel. Decide for yourself which one's your favourite colour. My favourite colour is blue. Let's give it a big spin and let's see if I can land on blue. Round and round it goes. Is it going to land on your favourite colour? Is it going to land on my favourite colour? Maybe we have the same favourite colour. Who knows? Round. Amazing. Now, you sitting at home or wherever you're sitting are probably thinking, that's a lie. He did that on purpose. Somehow he's rigged it. Genuinely, I haven't rigged it. So let's work out the probability. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colours on my wheel. If you think about it, that means that I've got a one in seven probability of landing on my favourite colour. But also, that means on the other hand, I have a 6 in 7 probability that it won't land on my favourite colour. So 6 out of 7, that's quite a high probability. So I'm very unlikely to get blue again. Let's find out. Round and round and round it goes. Maybe it's going to land on my favourite colour. Fingers crossed. Round and round. Is it going to land on your favourite colour? Who knows? Remember, there's only a 1 in 7 chance that I'm going to get my favourite colour again. This time it's yellow. So you can see how probability, even though I can predict things, is still really, really random. The probability that it was going to land on, seven, on yellow is still only 1 in 7. So, how can we apply this? How can I use this in another kind of game? Hopefully, you've heard of the game higher or lower. Me with my giant playing cards, me and you, we're now going to play a game of higher or lower. But as we go along, we're going to calculate probabilities to see if we can work out the best strategy as we go along. Now, cards in a playing deck, they go from ace all the way up to king. For the purposes of this game, I'm going to say that ace is one. So I've got Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, and king. Now, we're going to play a game of higher or lower. I'm going to quickly shuffle my giant cards as best I can shuffle them. They're quite large and uh, they're pretty difficult to shuffle actually. There we go, round and round and round they go, nice and randomly set up. Here we go, what card am I going to get first? 
Ta-da! I've got an eight. Eight of diamonds. Now, to make this game easier, I've got all of my cards picked out as being diamonds, because it makes the probabilities a little bit easier to work out for us at this stage. So, I've got eight. I'm going to cross out my eight. I asked myself, as a mathematician, what is the probability that my next card is going to be higher than an eight? Well, let's count it. I've got one, two, three, four, five cards that are higher than an eight. I've also got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards left to choose from. So that means that my probability of getting a card that's higher is five out of twelve. Now that's almost 50-50, but not quite. That means that the probability of getting a card that's lower is 7 out of 12. That's a much higher probability. So if I was playing this game and I was thinking about it really carefully, I'm going to say, I think my next card is going to be lower than an 8. Let's find out. Let's see if I've got it right. And ta-da! Seven of diamonds. So I was correct. Fantastic. We repeat the process. We do this whole thing again. I cross out my seven and I ask myself, what's the probability that my next card is going to be higher? Let's think about it. How many cards do I have left? I've got 11 cards left. One, two, three, four, five of those cards are higher. This also means that that means that six out of 11, six out of 11 are lower than my seven. So again, I'm going to say it's probably going to be lower. But bear in mind, because these probabilities are so close together, I could very, very easily be wrong. Ta-da! And I was wrong. It's a nine. Unfortunately, I have lost that game. But maybe you're still winning this game. Maybe you predicted that. And maybe you're better at this kind of game than me. Or maybe you're just lucky. So, nine of diamonds. Let's work it out once more. What is the probability that my next card is going to be lower than a nine? Let's do that this time. Think about it for yourself. What's the chance it's going to be lower? How many cards do I have left that are lower than a 9? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that are lower than a 9. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards left. That means I've got a 6 in 10 probability that my next card is lower than a 9. Now that's pretty good. I reckon that's pretty good odds to say my next card's going to be lower. What do you think? Are you going to beat me again? Who knows? Ta-da! Aha! It's a 2 of diamonds. Now this is a nice easy one. I now cross out my 2. Fantastic. I've now got what's the probability my next card is higher. Once again, you see if you can work it out. Ta-da! My next card, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of nine, eight out of nine probability my next card will be higher. Is it actually going to be higher? Ta-da! Oh no! Even though there was an 8 in 9 probability the next one was going to be higher, we still lost. And that is what I think is amazing about probability. Even though there is a huge chance, nearly 90% chance, that my next card was going to be higher, it's not quite. I look forward to seeing you in September so we can explore other math topics like algebra, geometry and more. Thank you very much. Have a lovely, lovely day, and I'll see you in September.